everyone. Welcome to another Vector Ink tutorial. And in this video, I am going to show you how to utilize the draw tool. Now, the draw tool in Vector Ink, once you first use it, you're going to notice there's a little string coming out the end of your mouse cursor. And what this string is, it might be annoying to some if you're not used to it, but what this string is is a stabilizer. The idea is to stabilize your, your, your strokes. Now, you can turn that off if you come over here to the settings and you set the stabilizer to none, you'll get the default uh, stroke that you normally see in most drawing applications, right? But turning the stabilizer on can be very beneficial if you're trying to, A, keep a smooth stroke, keep smooth lines, or B, see what you're doing as you're doing it, right? So I can extend the length of the stabilizer to say 20, right? Or whatever, whatever I'm comfortable with, I can, I'm gonna increase the stroke to four. And you see now the stabilizer is a little longer and I can draw smooth, smooth lines with ease and I can control the, the, the direction of the lines much easier than I would using the traditional method. So in this tutorial, I'm going to trace over. I'm not going to do the whole tracing, but I'm going to show you how I would use it to trace over an image. I'm going to use this little image of Homer that I imported, you know, via the import option here in the menu, right? And once you have an image imported, if you just want to like strictly trace and not have to deal with accidentally selecting it or whatever, you can head over to the layers menu and lock it. That way it doesn't move, right? And you probably also want to uh, turn down the opacity. So click on properties and turn the opacity down a little bit. That way you can, it's, it's much lighter. Okay, I'm going to zoom in. And zooming, by the way, to, is, is done using options key along with the mouse wheel. And, sh and panning is done with the shift and the mouse. I'm going to select the draw tool, open up the draw control panel, and start tracing. So I'm going to start here and just start going. Right? And you can see it's easy for me to just control. I'm doing all of this with my mouse, by the way. And you know I've run out of room, so I had to let it go. But if I, with join paths selected, I can click on where I end it, and it will join it to the path. The, the the existing path. So as you see, it's all one path still. Okay. What I want to use, is I want to use the end at cursor option. What this will do is it'll end the path where the cursor is at. So if I bring it around now, around the ear, right? I'm gonna try to keep it closer, and I'm gonna just stop right here and let it go. And boom, it finished where the cursor was, so I didn't have to worry about trying to end it myself. And I gotta remember when this is on because. I found myself making mistakes a lot with that left on. Okay. Selecting close path will automatically close the path. And then the close distance will close the path at whatever distance and pixels that you select. All right. But this draw tool is very useful for tracing. And just drawing in general, right? It makes drawing with, with your finger, with your mouse, so much easier. And if you have a stylus, it does well too. And then don't forget there's a virtual stylus. Right, if you're using your finger and you wanna see what you're doing and you don't have a real stylus, a physical stylus available, this virtual stylus helps accommodate that. So, that is the draw tool in a nutshell. I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching. See you next time.